Hey guys, another video for our Myths About Japan playlist. This one's about honesty in Japan. So as with a lot of these myths, they start with a little bit of truth or 100% truth. And then the reasons are distorted or misunderstood or misrepresented or somehow. So the true part is that in Japan, people are really honest. Now we've showed you lots and lots of videos over the years of honesty tests in Japan. They're not really tests, but we call them that just because they should be probably called honesty examples in Japan, because we've showed you lots of them, you know, valuable things being left out where they could be taken, and they're not. So we've showed you lots and lots of those. Alcohol shops leaving piles of alcohol outside their shops, unattended, and people leaving expensive, expensive bikes by the road for weeks at a time and lots of stuff like that, lots of stuff like that. You know, another statistic is every year in Tokyo, millions of dollars in cash are handed in. Um, the, the people have lost, people have lost big amounts of cash over, you know, throughout the year and other people find it and hand it in. So, so that's all, all the honesty is true. The myth part, the myth part is why? So for some interesting reason, perhaps it's people's own perspective, but well, obviously it is, but when we make a video with an honesty about an honesty test and we say, look, here's an example of honesty in Japan, there's always some people, now perhaps it's just because they see it from the point of view of where they live, um, which is fair enough, that's what we all do, isn't it? But, but there's always some people who say, oh, that's because of, uh, that's because of the cameras, there's cameras watching, that's why nobody's taking it. Um, that's because, you know, that's because of the 99% the conviction rate and Japan's, which we made another myth video about, by the way, um, Japan's strict laws and, and that's because the laws. So the myth is that people aren't taking these things because of the consequences if they do take them, right? That's the myth. And we know because of our day-to-day -day lives here and what we see and experience here, that that's not the reason. People aren't looking at something and thinking, oh, can I take that? Oh, I'd better not because I might be convicted of the crime or I might be, I might be caught on a camera or I might this or I might that. Our experience in Japan is totally different than that. Our experience in Japan is people don't think of it. People don't think of it. And, and we, we've seen this again and again and again. It's happened within our family too that people find something on the street or see something on the street and they just, oh, look, someone's dropped their thing and they just put it up on a post somewhere and leave it there, you know? And, and don't even, it doesn't cross their mind to take it. It's not theirs, you know? Um, just some examples straight away. Our family were in the park. Now, I wasn't there, so it was only the Japanese part of the family, right? So our Japanese family members were in a park and the kids found a 500 yen coin, right? So that's worth about $5. And some of you have seen a video previously, I found a wallet on the road and it had about 600 or $700 in it and the guy's ID and his driver's license and stuff and I took it to the police station and handed it in, right? And, and these guys are in the park with the kids and the kids found 500 yen, so $500, just one coin lying in the park, right? Now, some people in some countries would say, Finders keepers, right? That's a different culture, isn't it? Some, some cultures would say finders keepers, losers weepers, which means I found the 500 yen, I'm gonna keep it, yay, you know? Japanese thinking was, oh, someone's lost their 500 yen, right? Do you know what they did? They took it to the police station, right? <laughs> took it to the police station, the cop filled out a form, and then a few weeks later, um, the cop called up and said that no one's come to claim it. There's a certain period of time in Japan that you have to wait. And if no one cl claims it within that period of time, you get it, right? So a few weeks later, the cop rang up. No one's claimed the 500 yen. Come and get it, right? Um, uh, just a few more examples. Just as, this, is, this is our experience. Because these, these myths come from things that people have read or seen or heard on the internet, right? Oh, I heard that, you know. I heard that Japan has facial recognition cameras. That's why they don't steal anything. Someone said that recently about a, an honesty video that was shot in this town. I can guarantee you, very, very rarely see a camera in this town. If you do, it's usually in a post office or a bank inside. And you can be pretty well guaranteed they've got old VCRs and old DVD players plugged into them. 
I would I would be willing to bet any money there's no facial recognition technology in this town anywhere, right? It's not something that we just, you know, it exists. Um, they've got it at the airport. They have it at the airport, facial recognition. Um, when, you come, when you come through immigration, you know, they've got facial recognition in some of the airports in Japan, the bigger ones, the international ones. Um, but, you know, they're not stealing the flowers from the local florist because of facial recognition software. No, nah, sorry. No, that's not the case. Um, so when we address these topics, we like to address them based on what we actually see and hear. You know, some examples for you. The kids' homework, their homework books, have the answers in the back, right? And the kids sit there and do their homework, and this is, across the board, this is our family members and our neighbours and, you know, the kids in our lives, you know? And they sit there and they do their homework till it's finished, and they turn to the back of the book, and then they mark their own homework, right? And I mean, you know, some of us, when we were kids, if we were given the answers to our homework, we would have finished our homework in about two minutes and we would have made no mistakes, right? <laughs> These guys don't. They sit there and they they go, you know, they finish their homework and then they, they sit there and they mark on their homework the correct and the incorrect. You know, that's what they do. And look, of course, of course, just qualifying this, of course we know some kids, I've seen kids do slightly dishonest things in Japan, not stealing things, but just a little bit not honest stuff with the with candy candy involved and things like that you know and of course there are adults in Japan who commit crime uh, recently there's been um, one of the highest incidents of crime in Japan recently has been shoplifting by by elderly people in shops which is interesting isn't it don't know why that is but but you know the crime rates are extremely low in Japan but of course crime exists but the rates are really 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 low and it's not because of the deterrent um, if you haven't seen the the 99% conviction rate video yet, watch that, because that'll put that in perspective. Um, oh, the things left in the street, the bicycles and the other things left in the street that we showed you already. Um, oh, look, here's another example, right? Um, in some countries, it's quite common, isn't it, to be at your friend's house and go, hey, nice pen, oh yeah, I got that from work, right? Oh, this is a nice thing. Oh, yeah, I got that from work, right? People get things from work often, don't they? Some of you would have seen this in your own countries. You know, pens, you know, pens lying around the house that, that come from work. Oh, yeah, I brought that home. Come, I, I forget, I, I have my, my work pen in my pocket and I come home and, and it, you know, I bring them home. And, you know, I know, I know in our house in Australia, we used to have dozens of pens from work lying around all over the place. And it happens, you know, and... And, and conversations over barbecues where people talk about sc scoring something from work or scoring this from here or scoring this from there. And we don't sort of consider it to be a bad thing, do we? Oh, I got that from work. Yeah, it's really useful. And, and we don't really see that as being a, a bad thing. It's not like going to a shop and stealing something, right? But the line, the line, you know, where, what's okay to do and what's not okay to do, you know, in some countries it's a bit grey, isn't it? When is it stealing? And when is it taking something home from work, you know? Whereas in Japan, that line is really, really clear. If it's not yours, you don't take it. And we experience that here all the time, you know? Um, you know, convenience stores, this is a really common story, but, you know, convenience stores where someone from another country comes to Japan and they, you know, the change is two yen, which is like two cents. And they just don't pick it up. They just walk away because in their country, that's quite a normal thing to do. Here, the staff will go, no, 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 and they'll come out the door and say, come back, come back, here's your 2 yen, you know, and, and there's this really clear thing in Japan, if it's not yours, don't take it, you know, and that's, that's just their thinking, and that's just their automatic thinking, they find something that's not, oh, look, look at this, someone's left this behind, and they hang it up on a post somewhere, or a fence, or give it to the, the like, guard man, or give it, you know, hand it in where someone else is going to be able to get it. No matter what it, what the value of it is, you know, it might be something of really low value, whatever it is. Now, again, we know there are some examples that are different. You know, there are some people in Japan who will just take a bike, you know, they'll find themselves somewhere and come out of a convenience store or a shop or a train station or something and, and jump on someone else's bike and ride it to where they want to go and then leave it there. It does happen, you know, it, it does happen. But it's really, really rare. It's really, really rare. You know, people just don't think about it. 
you know, and it blows you out when you first come here. You know, I came from a security and crime prevention background, you know, so when I first came here and went into shops and saw staff counting thousands of dollars on the counter and, and just, you know, op like I, I've showed you these examples before, convenience um, supermarkets with piles of alcohol piled up next to the entrance, you know, far away from the, the cash registers where you could just pick up, you could fill up a trolley with alcohol and just push it out the door and no one would even notice. You know, and and you know when you when you come from another country, you see stuff like that every day. And at first, when you first come here, because we've got that mentality from from the places that we lived before, but Japanese people just don't have that. And 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 you've got to watch out if you do come to Japan, and you and you think something like that, you know, you've got to be really careful not to say it, because they they will say why why are you that why are you saying that. You know, if you could, hey, I could just fill up this trolley with with uh, alcohol and wheel it out of the supermarket without paying. You know, if you said that to a Japanese person, they'd say, "Why, Hanzaisha? You know, criminal? Why are you why are you thinking like that?" They, they wouldn't understand that thinking. You know, and and we sort of think it because a lot of us think like that because we come from countries where crime is really common, and and we have to think like that to keep ourselves safe, right? You know, we. We can't go into the into the shop in our home, own countries and leave the key in the ignition and the engine running like we do here. You know, we've showed you that before. In summer, we do it to keep the car cool with the air con. In winter, we do it to keep the car warm with the air con. And it's really common here. Walk into a convenience and the cars are sitting outside running and there's no one in the car. Just sitting there running with the keys in the ignition, you know? And nobody thinks about it here. Whereas, you know, when we come from other countries, we do. So it's just it's hard to get our heads around and of course this is the problem with that is is that people who haven't lived in a, in a culture like this see what happens here and and assume and we've had friends come from other countries and stay from Australia and come and stay with us here and 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 interesting to hear their comments through their eyes when they see things you know they see something and they say oh is that because of this and and you can hear you can see their their thinking based on where they come from. Oh, is that because of this? No, that's not because of that. You know, do they do that because of that? No, they don't do it because of that. They do it because of this, you know? And it's the same as this criminal thing. They're not being honest because of the fear of the consequences of not being honest, you know? That suggests that they're looking at something and thinking, oh, should I steal it? Oh, I'd better not, I might get a big penalty. You know, should I steal it? Oh, I'd better not, there might be a camera watching me. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. It doesn't cross their mind, you know? And those of you who, who are watching this, who've lived here a long time would know that, you know, your friends and family here, Japanese friends and family here, you know, their reaction, you watch their reaction when these things come up and they just don't think like that. Even the kids, even the kids, if the kids find something on the ground here, that they look around for who might own it and they go, oh, look what I found, you know, what do we do, what can we do with this? You know, the kids think like that. And, and and so just everybody thinks like that, you know, which is wonderful, isn't it? So so that's it. So that's it. And again, again with all these all these myth ones, you know, there's still some people that just don't want to believe anything other than what they already believe, you know. And they've they've heard this thing, and and they've heard it a hundred times on the internet that Japanese people are honest because their justice system's really strict. And, and when they've heard that a hundred times and you try to tell them, no, that's not true. And a lot of the myth videos are like that. You know, um, that people have heard this thing a hundred times. So they believe it's true because they've heard it a hundred times. Japanese people are the same. Sometimes there'll be a myth about, about Western people and Japanese people will hear some myth on TV about Western people and they've heard it a hundred times and they think it's true. And they'll say to you, is this true? And you go, no. Oh, really? You know, really? And then you've got to convince them it's not true, you know, and they have trouble believing it. So, and, and it's the same with these myth videos when we make them. People have heard it a million times, you know. Japanese people are honest because their justice system is really strict and, 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 and so trying to convince people that's not the case. But those of you who've lived here and have Japanese people in your lives will know that this is the case. They just don't think about it. They just don't think like that. They've just got this honest, do the right thing, 
it's, it's that thoughtfulness for other people, I think, you know. A lot of our cultures, we, we come from cultures where it's every person for themselves. You know, everyone, you've got to look after number one. All those sort of things that we say in some Western cultures, you know. Look out, have to look after number one, every man for himself, all that sort of stuff. And they just don't have that in Japanese culture. They don't think like that. They think about the group. There's a thing that you don't see very often. A truck driver pulled over by the cops. That's good to see. <laughs> All the bad stuff I see those guys do, going through red lights and all their other crazy stuff. Good job, coppers. Good job, copper. Shame he has to park there and block off a lane. We showed you that recently, didn't we? Anyway, that was that. So again, people can believe what they want. Our thinking with this myth stuff is just to give it another perspective. Um, and you know it's up to people then to believe what they want to believe usually our perspectives on these things aren't so interesting usually the the myth is much more interesting right you know that that, that whole 99 percent conviction rate lots of people in jail that are innocent and and conspiracies and all the all the myths the, the myths are, are usually much more exciting than the reality sorry <laughs> So that might be another reason a lot of people don't want to know about the reality. But anyway, there it was. For those of you who want to think about that or consider that as a thought, there it was. More videos coming soon.